price, these school sweaters will not last long. So order yours today. Thank you. How's the baby? Fine. I like your hair. <laughs> Thanks. It's just hairspray. My mom doesn't know about it yet. Surprise her and do it like mine or Liz's. <laughs> Don't think she's ready for that. Hi, Doris. Nancy asked me to give you this announcement. Oh, thank you, Katie. Um, but if you allow a pregnant student to stay in school, it sets a bad example. And your group will have full opportunity to express those opinions at Tuesday's meeting. Thank, thank you. you for coming by. That girl is not staying at UFC. You sure of that. She's going to be out of this school. It's just disgraceful. Our parents will they're talking about Spike. Wake up in the morning, feeling shine on the entry. I gotta go to the school. I don't think I can make it, don't think I can take it. I wonder what I'm gonna do. But when I look around, I see that someone is smiling right at me. Wait, that someone's talking to me. Hey, I've got a new. This nation's borders have evolved. Hold on a sec. We'll be coloring in maps tomorrow, so don't forget to bring your pencils. Okay, off you go. You want to call Spike out of school just because she's pregnant? Yeah. They say letting her stay here is like saying it's okay to be irresponsible. They're crazy. Seeing her makes me not want to get pregnant. Right. And what about what Spike wants? Hey, Caitlin, don't forget the digest meeting. Ten minutes? I won't. Remember, tomorrow's the deadline, and it has to be 200 words. Right. Good old Nancy. She doesn't care what the words say, just as long as there's 200 of them. Wait till next year. We'll be in grade 8. I'll be school president, and I'll be editor of the Degrassi Digest. Together, we'll run this place. Right. <laughs> agree with them, that's all. Spike sets a bad example. But she shouldn't stay here with normal kids like us. Mm -hmm. There goes Kathleen again. The scary part is some people actually agree with her. I have to wash my hair out. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. I want to stay here. All my friends are here. Well, they can't make you leave school until you're at least 16. They can make me leave this school. What does your mom say? She says she'll fight, but she's only one person. Look, not all the parents want you to leave, but a lot of them do. I made a mistake and I'm paying for it. How much longer do I have to keep paying for it? Why can't they leave me alone? This is so unfair. Out. Cindy, 21, likes all kinds of sports, indoors and out. What a coincidence, so do I. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Debbie, 23, likes her men tall, blonde, and into music. <laughs> Here I am, Debbie, take me. <laughs> Ever notice all the names end in I? Must be a qualification or something. <laughs> do you think green looks good on me? <laughs> Everything looks good on you. Oh, Don't be silly, oh, lots of colors on suit. I look yeah. terrible yeah. in yellow. Oh, check this one out. She is a 10. I wish she went to Degrassi. All the girls here are like minus zeros, you know what I mean? You're disgusting. Rating girls is sexist. And so are those pictures. You're making women into sex objects. So what's your point? I love to be a sex object. You wish. They're so big. They can't be real. Alexa, come on. <laughs> Chauvinist! 
Why are you pushing me? I'll switch you on your own business. You're just dude. jealous, jealous of the world. That's right. Oh, oh, I just wish you looked like these. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see how big those were? Oh, Alexa, I don't care about boobs, okay? What's the rush? I want to see Lawrence. That garbage shouldn't be allowed. I'll do their only pictures. No, it's how people look at women. It's important. If we don't battle sexism, who will? Next issue, I'd like to do an article on the cutest boys at Degrassi. Pretty short article. Anyway, this is a newspaper. You know, facts. Okay. Tim, I really liked your article on Quest for the Best, but it was too short. It needs 50 more words. Sorry I'm late. It's all right, as long as you get your article in on time. I will. I'm gonna do it on Spike. You know, about being taken out of the school? It's a good idea, but kind of touchy. So? It's about Degrassi. And it's important. I mean, all these people butting in and trying to run her life. Okay. It's time we tackled some real issues on this paper. Okay. The press has the responsibility to reveal the truth. Fine. Just get it in tomorrow morning and make sure it's 200 words. I really don't think Mr. Lawrence will be able to see you today. He's very busy. We'll wait. Well, I'm going and you can't stay. Why not tell me what you want? It's about these sunshine girls. Joey has them in his locker. Pinups aren't allowed. Exactly. Joey should be made to take them down. I'll see that Mr. Lawrence gets your message. He'll handle it. She said she'd tell Lawrence. When? Next week? Next month? Next year? That was just an excuse to get rid of us. So, guys, what do you think? Three? 3.5? No, I'd say four. It'd be higher for name and than I. Who, me or LD? Alexa, don't listen to these pigs. Oh, pigs. Oh, pigs. pigs. No. Oh, what? 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 It's time to fight fire with fire. And you can help. Me? Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Could you take the liver out of the fridge, please? It's just us tonight. You know how your dad hates liver. I hate liver. What was that? Nothing. Mom, did you hear about the PTA meeting tomorrow? Yes. Did you hear about the parents that want to throw Spike out of Degrassi? Yes, I have. You're going to stick up for her, right? Well, I just think she'd be a lot happier in a place where there's other girls like her. What? Well, she wouldn't look so conspicuous. Is that all you care about, how it looks? So what? <sighs> Mom, everyone already knows. Sweetheart, it's not how it looks that's important. It's what's best for Christine. Now, she needs all the help and support she can get. You're just embarrassed. Oh, Kate. Yeah, you're all trying to sweep it under the rug like it never happened. What about Spike? She wants to stay at Degrassi. At least I'm going to stand up for her. And I hate liver.
they great? Uh, my sister gave them to me. You should keep them. Are you kidding? After I give Joey a taste of his own medicine, you can have them back. They're gross. Here we go. Hey, Joey. Look at him. Great pecs, eh? Pecs? Pectoral muscles, dummy. Yeah. And look at him. Amazing buns. He's a 10. Right, Alexa? Right. I wonder what Joey is. I don't know. I can't count that low. <laughs> Do you think this bothers us? Get real, those pictures are ridiculous. So are your pictures. Ridiculous. These are my babies. Your principal, Mr. Lawrence speaking. Ha. Our thought for the day is freedom. So simple to choose, yet so easy to abuse. <sighs> and Mr. Rabbit reminds all members okay, of the Grassy Digest staff Here's my article. Great. I worked on it last night for hours. I think it's really good. How's it going here? Everything's ready except the crossword, and uh, Trish is typing up the clues now. Almost done. I'm afraid we can't include this. Why not? Well, it's, uh, it's well written, Caitlin, but the press has a responsibility to present a balanced picture. But it's the truth. It's an opinion. Your opinion. Have you talked to Christine? Everyone knows she doesn't want to leave. Well, maybe so, but the Degrassi Digest is for the publishing of events. Its mandate is not to publish opinions. Real papers have whole pages of opinions. What about freedom of the press? Look, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But as staff advisor, I can't allow this article to be published, particularly at this time. This is censorship. Please have these finished by this afternoon. Thank you. That is your best article ever. But what's the use if no one can read it? First they want Spike to disappear, and now they won't even let us talk about it. Too bad you can't do an underground newspaper. What? Friends of mine in high school, they started an underground newspaper. Susie, that's a great idea. No, it's not. They got suspended. I don't care if I get suspended. People should read this before the PTA meeting so they can straighten out their parents. I'll be back at lunchtime. Where are you going? We've got study period. Someone's got to stand up for Spike. Cover for me. So as we've been reading in St. Joan, George Bernard Shaw presents us with a very obvious question. Mr. Jeremiah, would you go with Miss Bell, please? Yeah, sure. What did I do this time? I want you to open right. your locker, please. Let's recap. <laughs> what? Why? We've had a complaint that you have pornography in there. Pornography? There's no... LD did this, right? That's not the point. Open. This goes totally against a democratic system. Joey, Joey! What's wrong? I got them out of the paper. I think you should take these downstairs to Mr. Lawrence's office. Oh, man. You should see LD's locker. I mean, talk about pornography. I was really offended. I'm serious. And so, with all that we've said about St. Joan, 
we still have not resolved the obvious question. I'd like to see Lorraine now. Lorraine, would you go with Miss Bell? Joey, I'm going to take them down after school. I think you should take them down right now and bring them to Mr. Lawrence's office. <sighs> this is so unfair. Thanks a lot, Joey. You started it. So, your pictures are degrading. I didn't make you look at them. They're sexist, so that makes them wrong. Since when is what's in my personal private locker any of your business? Spike is going to have a baby. The parents say she should go away. But Spike has lots of friends here. And with all that she has to deal with, why should she have to make new friends too? I think Spike is brave not to hide anything. So I don't see why the parents want to hide her. Also, why do they blame her? It was Shane's fault too. Should he be sent away? Of course not. They should both stay. Doris, give us lunch. How much longer is this going to take? As long as it takes. Mr. Lawrence is very busy. I wouldn't be in such a hurry if I were you. Is he in? Yes. You should see this. Ms. Avery, could you please send Caitlin Ryan to my office? Yes, Caitlin, have a seat. What are you doing here? I guess it's because of the article I wrote. What article? I wrote an article for the Grassy Digest, and it was banned. I gave it out anyway. Are you crazy? That's guaranteed trouble. I don't care. It's the principle. I had to do what's right. <laughs> See, some people care about principles. Oh, yeah? And what about the principle of privacy? <laughs> what are these for? Would you please send Caitlin in now? Caitlin? 
Caitlin, what about us? We've been here longer. All in good time. Oh. Have a seat. <laughs> And if I ever do anything I like this again, so. I get suspended. She probably got off. Okay. Let's get a little work done around here, please. Just mind your own business. I did it for you. I was fighting for your rights. Then how come you never talked to me? This isn't what I want. It's what you want. How do you know how I feel? Do you think I like having everybody read about me? You said you wanted to stay. I heard you. I do. But I don't need Little Miss Perfect to make me her cause of the week. But it's the truth. Caitlin, I'm a person, okay? Not public property. Are. Dynamite. <laughs> yes. There she is. Oh, yes. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Hey, old D. I got something to show you. What? My binder. Sari likes fast cars, fast men, and motorcycles. You're such a child. Hey, I admire her for her mind. Alexa, I got something to show. I can't seem to do anything right. That's not true. It usually works out in the end. I feel like such a jerk. We're just trying to help. Yeah, as usual. Poor Spike. Okay, thanks. Hey, Caitlin. How was detention? Fine. So, what are you writing about for the next issue? You mean you still want me to? I thought I wasn't going to be allowed. Come on, you're the best writer we've got. But make it less controversial this time, please. Yeah, OK. I think I'll write about sexism. Great. Remember, 200 words. Sexism? Yeah, 
LD told me about the Sunshine Girls and Joey's Locker. Those pictures are so down. This time I'll do it right. I'll be objective. I'll interview LD hey, Alexa. and Joey. Tonight's the BTA meeting. I wonder what will happen to her.